Hi, my name is Johannes. In last year's Test Trim Press contest, I showed you my concept for building a poor man's time domain reflectometer. I didn't win an oscilloscope that time, but of course I still did the project and built the hardware just to see how far I could push it with my hobby equipment. Here's the prototype and it's working. It looks very simple. A controller generates pulses in the 20 nanosecond grid and an analog circuit does a fine tuning. You send the pulse down the cable and catch the peak voltage with a fast diet. My prototype board certainly wouldn't win a beauty contest, but it's cheap, easy to change and performs surprisingly well. Let's have a look. Here's a 5 nanosecond pulse on a 2 meter cable. When I increase the pulse length, there's an overlap and the peak voltage almost doubles. Ah, I should mention that's not my scope, that's at work during my lunch break. This is the automatic two-pass measurement mode. The range of the prototype is only about 10 meters, but the resolution is as small as 4 centimeters. This is very unusual for a TDR. It could even be used to detect if the connector or an adapter at the far end of the cable is mounted correctly. Okay, so now the concept is proven. Now it's time to optimize the range and the accuracy of this unit. However, we're dealing with fractions of nanoseconds and every peak of red in the circuit matters. This is nothing you tackle with an ordinary test probe connected to a 40 MHz oscilloscope. This takes some serious tools. So, I've built the circuit and want to improve it. But why on earth should Keysight support me by giving me a 6 GHz oscilloscope? Let me tell you. First, this project really needs the performance. I have very fast edges and the timing accuracy must be measured in picoseconds. If I want to probe this analog circuit in order to optimize it, I have to do that with the least possible capacitive load and the highest possible bandwidth. Second, this is open source. I'm sharing all information about this project on the EEV blog. You can download the schematics or the source code and there's a lot of blab about the theory of operation. Third, there are more interesting projects in the queue and I share those as well. Last but not least, of course, I put that thing to good use for many years to come. I'd never sell it, though. Yeah, and actually, I just really, really enjoy it. Okay, thanks for watching.